Visceral leishmaniasis, or kala azar, is present on three continents, in Southeast Asia, in East Africa, and in Brazil. In Southeast Asia, there is an ambitious plan to eliminate visceral leishmaniasis, to reduce the number of patients to less than one per 10,000 exposed individuals. The program has been very successful in Bangladesh, Nepal, and also in India. In Eastern Africa, the problem is more serious. Treatment isn't adapted, and we don't know how to control the sandfly that spreads the disease. DNDI is focusing its efforts in this region on working to develop two oral medications that would form a new, more effective treatment and prevent the emergence of resistance. There is an additional problem in Africa. Leishmaniasis and HIV co-infection rates are high. This frequently leads to recurrence of leishmaniasis. Mortality rates are high, so it's very difficult to control the disease. Then there's another problem too, malnutrition. All of these elements make it difficult to control the disease and to help patients. And this doesn't even take into account epidemics linked to political instability, such as in South Sudan. Finally, Brazil is another region with a high level of infection. Here again, there is a lot of leishmaniasis HIV co-infection. Treatment is underdeveloped and not very effective. Ideally, DNDI would like to develop an oral treatment specifically for South America.